I want to talk to you from this text, from this subject, a treehouse church. A treehouse church. They're looking at me like I'm strange. He shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water, which bring forth his fruit, his seeds, and his leaf shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. I am interested in building a treehouse church. Amen. 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 You can sit down. A treehouse church. Church. A church that resembles a treehouse. A church that that is inside of a treehouse. A church that was built to be a treehouse. I've always admired people that build tree houses. I like to look at them. I, they scare me sometimes because I, I think it looks like it can fall. It looks like, you know, it can come down uh, and you got to be very skilled to build a house inside of a tree. We built forts you know, when I was small. My brother and I, we would build these forts. And, and my son, he, he even took on that, that, that he, it's in his DNA. We, I got these boxes in the house and, he, you know, I, have them, I didn't take most of them up yet to put them out on recycling day. And, I, and he would open them all up, had them all in the living room, and he built this fort. Yes. He had different rooms to his fort. And, and we used to do that as kids. We, we had boxes and we would take comforters and, and we had high rises and bunk beds and we would move a comforter from the top all the way down to build a fort because we, we wanted a place to call our own. And people build these tree houses and they are awesome. And, 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 the, and, and the question that comes to mind is, is to a lot of people, how do they build these tree houses? How? How do they do that? But I found out the question that should be asked is not how do they build tree houses, but why would you build a tree house? You got a house right here. There's a house, you got all this land. You, you got a house, you got, you, you got a basement, you got a first floor, second floor, some got three floors, you got you got pool houses, you got you got an attic, you got all these rooms, you got all this stuff. Why would you go out and have your parents or somebody get all this wood and build you a house in a tree when you got a big bedroom in your um house? Why would you do it? And the answer is because I need refuge. I need a sanctuary. I need a place I can go to and get all of the world out of my head to get rid of all my stress, to stop thinking about things, to stop worrying about things. I need my own space. I build myself a tree house. Because in my other house, there's too many things going on. There's arguments in my house. There's, there's pain in my house. There, 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 somebody left my There's a fight. Somebody got molested in their house. Somebody got beat in their house. Their parents don't understand them. So I would rather live in a tree house than this house. I will dwell in the house of the Lord all of the days of my life. How powerful that scripture is. I will dwell in the house of the Lord all of the days. It's hard to get false coming one day after week. He said, all the days will I dwell. You know there's some refuge. There's a, a sense of peace. When you can say, I just want to go to church. A man was testifying. He said, I love church so much that when I got in trouble, my punishment was, you can't go to church. You know that's a love for church. When your parents say, you are bad in school, you can't go to church. He said, I cry like a baby. I want to go to church. Uh, no, no, no. You are punishment. Most of y'all will put your kids on punishment and say, you can't go to the park. His parents put him on punishment and said, you can't go to church. You know how you know you got a love for God. God and a love for the things of God when they tell you you can't go. Some of y'all say y'all kids they can't go to church. They're like, yeah. That's all I was thinking about. It's a tree house. 
I found out a tree house is really a transitory place. Yeah, it really is. It's a transitory place. It's a place of betweens. The tree house or the church is a transitory place. You, you come here when you are between things. Anybody between things right now? Anybody between? I'm, 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 I'm not there. I'm between it. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm not where I used to be. I'm, I'm between, you know. I don't have all the money, but I'm not as broke as I used to be. I'm, 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 I'm kind of a between, you know. I mean, I'm not lonely, but I don't have a man. I'm, I'm between, you know. And I'm just, I'm just in this between stage, and, and this treehouse is transitory. It, it's a place where you go because you are between things. And in the treehouse, you got to go there because you are between things. And when you get in your treehouse, you find out that it is your city of refuge. It is the place you can go to and block everything out. I block things out. Uh, ask those that are closest to me in this church. When we get here, the minute they come, I, I said, not now, no, 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 no. This is my between. I don't want to hear that right now. I got work to do. I, I don't want to hear what they not right now. It's my between place. And if I let you upset my spirit in my tree house, I have no place. I took too much time building this house. To allow you to bring your stuff into my tree and build your own tree house. You gotta stop letting people into your tree house with their lumber. This tree house was already built. We don't need no more wood. We don't need no more nails. Don't bring nothing. This is my house. This is a different tree house. One that is planted. It's settled. It is settled. It took me a long time, about three and a half to four years to get to the place to say, I don't care if they come, I don't care if they go. Not that I don't want you to come. I am settled because God has proven himself faithfully. But I found that God is faithful when others won't give. God will make a way out of no way. He has proven that he lives in this tree. This tree has a place between where I am and where I want to go. It's a place between my dreams and my nightmares. A place between my, my, my boy and my spouse. A place between my hunger and my fullness. It is a place between my ups and my downs, my defeats and my, my victories, my sanity and my insanity. It is a place where I go to get peace. The time, and the time to be, to be, for you to be messing up my tree house. I don't have time to mess up my own tree house. I don't have time to get splinters in the house that I built. This is a tree house. It's a place where you go to get the big picture. That's why you build a tree house. Because if I stay on this level, I can only see what everybody else sees. But if I build me a house that is higher than what I currently reside, if I build a house that is bigger than where I sleep, what am I saying? You gotta get another mentality. You gotta look what others aren't looking. You gotta see what other people don't see. You gotta say, you didn't see what I see, but I didn't see nothing. You in the wrong tree house. I'm high. My thoughts are not your thoughts. You gotta get the big 
the picture. And, and, and the problem with people is uh, they don't see what you see. Uh, their lenses uh, are not conducive to your eyes. Uh, they don't have the same orbital sockets you have. Uh, they can't see what you see. So you can't get mad at them. Uh, it's not my fault your vision is blurred. It's not my fault you, you have such a low level of sight that you can't see what I see. And don't get mad at me because I see more than you see. Well, I don't see it. Well, that's your problem. God didn't tell me. Too bad. You gotta stop. Stop. Uh, design for people to co-sign what God tells you. I don't need anybody to underwrite my vision. I don't need you to co-sign nothing. I don't need you to stand nothing. I don't need you to sign your name and say, I agree. As long as I got Jesus and he tells me something, I see what he said. You got to see with your ears. That's why people see with their eyes. I've learned how to see with my ears. I've learned how to hear God with my ear and begin to see things. Most of y'all only see what you And until I see it, I ain't gonna believe it. Until I touch his scarred hands, I ain't gonna believe it. You ain't gotta see if I hear a thing. Some people who can't wait for Sunday. There's some people on Wednesday that say, my God, I can't wait till this Sunday. Yeah. There's some people who say, oh my God, when are we going to have another revival? Uh, when are we going to have prayer again? Uh, when is all night prayer? Uh, those are treehouse people. Uh, they can't wait to get here. You got to have such a thirst for God. You got to have such a hunger for God. God, that you can't wait to Sunday. Forget TGIF. TGIS, thank God, is Sunday. So what are you talking about this treehouse stuff? What are you talking about? Why is it so grand? Why is, why is your vision? So do you look around this place? It's only 25 by 100. It's only, it's a small building. Why are you so excited about this place? Because every mama is excited about her baby. Yeah. Excited about your, your baby. Because you're supposed to nurture that bad boy. You're supposed to feed your baby. You're supposed to burp your baby. You're supposed to, to, to put your baby to sleep. Check on your baby. Chastise your baby. Beat your baby. Put your baby on time out. But you got to raise your baby. That's what we're doing today. We chastising the baby. We're nurturing the baby. We're feeding a baby yeah. and for some of y'all we gotta change the baby <sighs> who's that smell there ain't nothing but somebody that need to be changed that's all right. oh, don't worry about him he just need to be changed you know, don't worry about her she she just she just got gas all we gotta do is burp her she, she'll be all right uh, you know ain't no issue that's what we gonna do we ain't gonna do nothing but change him because he made a mess. He's a baby. He's a baby. And the text talks about, he, talk, he deals y'all with, with blessings. You read the text. First one, blessed. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the council of ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. I just had a mouthful. He's talking about, he says, but his delight is in, you know, in love of the Lord. And in his love doth he meditate day and night. He, he says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the un ungodly, standing with sinners, sits in the seat of scornful. He's dealing with, he's dealing with ungodly people. He's dealing with sinners. And he's dealing with the scornful. He Telling us how to be blessed. But he doesn't tell us how to be blessed. He tells us what not to do. He didn't 
tell you how to be blessed. He didn't give you a prescription on how to be blessed. He told you what not to do. Blessed people don't do these things. It's an inverse to be blessed. It's not direct, but you're supposed to, 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 to get it. If I don't do these things, then I'm blessed. I come here because I want to be blessed. That's my goal. Is to be blessed. And I refuse to apologize for being blessed. You didn't have to go through the hell I had to go through to get the little bit that I have. And I gotta apologize. I gotta say, oh well, you know, the Lord, you know, you know, I'm so humble. No, I am blessed. Thank God for it. You gotta ask why you want another one Cause I want it You gotta call why you want another one Cause I want it You gotta call why you want more Cause I want it Why you mad cause I want stuff When people are mad cause you're blessed That's their problem You mad and only your haters get mad when you get blessed. Only your head, oh, he got a new car. How he gonna pay for it? Why you want about my car payment? No, you're I, it's, it's, it's stupid. You're stupid. Just, 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 just stupid. How you doing all this? I'm blessed. Why you doing all this? Cause I'm blessed. I'm doing it because I paid for it. But blessed people have this thing called cognizant ignorance. They have this thing called cognizant ignorance. What is that? Cognizant ignorance is to know what you don't know. I know what I don't know, and I have enough sense to go to somebody who does know. Yeah, yeah. I'm not void of the fact that I don't know a lot, but I have enough common sense to go to seasoned people, to go to people who are where I am. If I'm broke, ain't no sense of me as another broke person how not to be broke. How are you going to stop being broke? I don't know. But if I was you, I would do this. But you broke. You got to go to somebody with some money. You got to go to somebody who is there. And don't go with your hand out. Go with your ears out. This is the man walking up Kelsey McGonley. Then he says, No stand up in the way of sinners. You don't stand in the way of sinners. No, no, it's bad enough you, you was walking. But then when I read this portion of the text, it says, you know, stand up in the way of sinners. I found out that that word stand means to stop movement. It means you're with somebody who has caused you to stop moving. You have with somebody who has caused you to stop growing, caused you to stop thinking, caused you to stop coming. Anytime you hook up with somebody and they stop you from growing, you are with the wrong person. I was doing okay until I hooked up with you. I was doing okay until I got with you. Every fall you have ever made, you can trace back to somebody. So God, anybody, anything that stops you from growing is a curse. The church is not just an organization. It is an organism. And the church is supposed to grow. What do you mean a church is supposed to get bigger? Absolutely not. The people are supposed to grow. If you stop growing, you have to die. And my scripture tells me that when Jesus came for the fig tree that did not produce, he cursed it. Amen. He cursed it. Why did he curse it? Because God is not into nothing that does not grow. You don't know no more scriptures than you did last year. You don't know no more songs than you did last year. You know how to stinky leg and twerk, but you don't know how to go to work. 
You have to stop growing. You don't read no more. You don't pray no more. You don't sacrifice no more. You are belligerent. You are nasty. You are growing in the inverse direction. And you're trying to talk. It's the church fault. You are absolutely right. Because you used to be the church. The bless meditate on his word day and night. That's, those are treehouse people that meditate on God's word. I'm thinking about his word when I wake up, y'all. I'm thinking about his word when I'm looking at TV. I'm thinking about his word when I see something happen. I think about his word when I get good news. I think about his word when I get bad news. I think about his word when I'm in my house and when I step out. Because who told you you was coming back home? No, no, no. You gotta meditate, y'all. You gotta be so in love with God's word that you can see a cereal box and get a sermon. You can see a car commercial and get a sermon. You can see people fighting and get a sermon. I can look at your wings and get a sermon. I meditate day and night. Yeah, you think I can't get a sermon out of weave? You must be crazy, yeah. Cause I seen how they put that bad boy in. They made that sucker back. They put that cap on top. They sold that bad boy in. That's just what God does. He put a cap around me. He hides me. He's a shelter. And they begin to stitch me. And hide all of my edges. How you like me now? Somebody gotta hide your edges. Uh, how your edges falling out? Uh, gotta hide your edges. Uh, gotta take two edges uh, and make it 18 inches. Uh, gotta give you three bundles full. That's why I'm so glad <laughs> my edges. Uh, I'm so glad uh, things were falling apart. Uh, my glory was cutting out, uh, but God uh, covered my edges. This scripture, y'all, is powerful. He delights in the law of the Lord day and day. He may say day and night, and he shall be like a tree planted. I'm not talking about no no tree that is that is just there. That planted means it is settled. I am settled where I am. I am settled. You can tell unsettled people because the minute you tell them something, they get an attitude. You can tell settled folks something, and they may sway, but they come back. They may get a tear in the eye, but they wipe it off. They may be broke today when they come and back I am settled in who I believe Settled folks go to the doctor and get a bad prognosis not a diagnosis they think they see something settled folks hear that and come to the altar settled folks I ain't got no cancer my God is good he is my Jehovah he is a healer my God knows all things you gotta be settled these days. Cause stuff will come and sway you. People will come and sway you. The enemy will come and sway you. But I've been hit by the best. I've been talked about by the best. I've been hated on by the best. God, I'm settled. Some of y'all mad cause folks talking about you. You ain't settled. Yeah, mad because they won't like your stuff on Facebook. Uh, you ain't settled. Uh, you mad because you got corrected. Uh, you ain't settled. Uh, you gotta take a licking uh, and keep taking.